Radio. Well, yeah, I figured I'd shine straight from your heart. Do something to get you into the spirit of Christmas. I'm always in the spirit of Christmas. But yeah, this this is nice. I like it. Yeah. Glow. It's the Brett Eldridge song. Well, we have the Baby It's Cold Outside version, too. We'll play that. All right. Eventually. With Megan Trainer. We're getting to know these people. <laughs> He's got a good voice. He does. Yeah. Very pretty. Yeah. Hey, Kennedy's here. Good morning this morning, Kennedy. Kennedy. Welcome. Good morning, every morning, St. Louis. What's going on with you? How are you, my friend? I'm doing fine. Just uh, just trying to get through all the fake news. That's all. <laughs> are you guys in the polar vortex? Oh, yeah. It's freezing cold here. Yes. It's, yeah, it, today's the, uh, the first day below freezing since March. Yeah, it's been 80 here pretty much every day, and then suddenly it's like 17. So, yeah. Ooh, yeah. That's no, how. It's, uh, we're in the jaws of winter, and <laughs> she's snapping our limbs off. <laughs> so, all right, where do we begin? First, we have, well, I, I still think this whole Russia manipulating the election stuff is, is, is there's, there's not an ounce of proof that this is even going on. This whole 17 intelligence agency story. I mean, I, I, we, we still have yet to have any factual evidence that this is true. Then we have these electors. Well, don't you, don't you sit there and go, why are there 17 intelligence agencies? I was about like, to they're say. Really that good, do you need 17 of them? Yeah. I I mean, mean, that sounds like a big waste of money. These that's, that's one of my biggest pet peeves is duplicate government programs. Yeah. I mean, I, I and I don't even know. I, and I've I've asked people to name them, and people still can't name them. They just kind of regurgitate the fact that there are seventeen. But I'm like, going, okay, can you name three? So yeah. So now now we have the electors, and obviously they've they've had. There's one court that has told them, no, you're not going to be freed to just do anything you want to do. And I guess they're going to well, try. And it, it also depends on the state. Right. You know, some states have some states have certain laws where electors are bound to uh, vote the way their state voted. Like that's they have to do that. So it really is just a formality. And I know they like to think that they're they're Alexander Hamilton reincarnated, but perhaps that's not true in most places. It's interesting how they chose. Uh, that's a long story, though. I've, that's my pet peeve regarding Alexander Hamilton, who I. He's my least favorite founding father uh, for a number of reasons. But nonetheless, these guys, the, most of them are Democrats anyway, right? So they, they wouldn't be changing their Clinton electors anyway, right? Um, in Colorado, yeah. But then uh, then they, they're trying to force the issue so the Secretary of State in Colorado says, no, you have to vote this way or perjury. And then they get thrown in jail and their votes can't get certified and they're hoping to upend the entire process that way. Well, and but but it's not going to happen, right? Uh, no, it's like come on, and and you have to, and and this is basic civility. And when when Harry Reid instituted the nuclear option in the Senate, he he wasn't thinking about the one day that uh, yeah Republicans would have control and and they could do the same thing. And that's what Mitch McConnell warned him about. And now Mitch McConnell is in charge. He's like, hey, you want us to use the nuclear option? Woo! <laughs> um, and, you know, it's the same thing here. It's like, if you guys want to screw around and undo the election, fine. Um, we'll do it to you next time. And if that's how you want politics to go, it's going to be a really ugly play. I get it. A lot of people don't like Trump. They didn't vote for him. They don't want him. Uh, they think he's boorish and coarse and obscene and all that stuff. But guess what? He, uh, he won the Electoral College. It's in the Constitution. You may hate the process, but that's our process. Yeah, I loved it when they made their initial petition and wanted people to sign it, and and one of the one of the sentences in this whole p- petition was, the only reason Donald Trump won the election is because he won the electoral college. And I'm thinking, um, yeah, that's kind of how things work in our representative republic here. Yeah, that's the process, right. and, and don't don't champion it when it benefits you, and then you know claim it's it's rigged, and they can't say that. They can't say the system is rigged because when Donald Trump was saying that during the campaign, uh, he was attacked by the establishment left and Hillary Clinton, like, how dare you in 240 years, blah, blah, blah. And it's <laughs> right. Like, right. So what's going on? Testimony is, is so, it's so ridiculous. 
ridiculous and it's so transparent that you only want your side to win. And when that doesn't happen, everyone's bitter. So, Kennedy, what are you? Party, so more people are disappointed all the time. What are your five different jobs today? Uh, you, are you going to be on on outnumbered? No, outnumbered is not today. I'm going to be outnumbered uh, Monday and Wednesday next week. Right. Um, is it Monday and Wednesday? Oh God, I hope not. No, because yeah. I'm not in on Monday. Love it when you're um, on that show. Oh. And so, what's on what's on Kennedy tonight? Um, we are definitely going to talk about the electors. Um, I'm going to talk to Dave Mustaine from Megadeth. He's nominated for his 12th Grammy. Yeah, right. Um, and he said that uh, he had spoken to Kenny G, and Kenny G told him it took him 21 nominations before he actually won a Grammy. And I thought to myself, huh, Kenny G has won a Grammy? Um, and uh, we're going to be talking about um, all sorts of good end-of-year house cleaning, post-election, how is the world really going to work? John Stossel is uh, retiring. His show is ending. He's going to be on the show tonight talking about uh, the projects he's got lined up in the future, and um, he's going to uh, counsel me on how to keep the torch of liberty lit through strange political times. Now, is it my mistake, or is Mustaine, isn't he, isn't he involved in politics, or isn't he outspoken in politics? Yeah, he's super outspoken. He, he can get a little nutty, so I'm going to push him on some of that stuff uh, tonight and see where he really stands. Yeah. But, that... uh, he, he, yeah, and, and there's rumors that he's a 9-11 truther, so I'll ask him about that because I don't like those people. Yeah, right. I, I know, but, but, but boy, he's really been around the block. I mean, he's criticized President Obama, and so he's been kind of outspoken that that way. But, I, but he's definitely interesting. I, I, I love these guys who at least... You know, occasionally, like for instance, I can you walk me through the Green Day thing because I really have a problem with them, and I'm trying not to. Yeah, but what they what are they supposed to be like? Country Club Republicans? What they're, Green they're, Day? They're punk rockers. I mean, I know. punk rock is you know it's 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 got its own uh, interesting political path and. My feeling about that is I'm never going to agree with Green Day. Right. Politically, on most things, actually, that's not true because Billy Joe is, is supposedly uh, a libertarian, and I would love to uh, hear someone press him a little bit on that point. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, they're, they're trying to be rebellious punk rockers, and they're in their 40s, so it, it doesn't wear as well as it might have in the early 90s, but God bless them for trying. Yeah, you know what, and I've, nev- I've, nev- I've always been one that I was able to separate you know the the politics from the music. You know because I still uh-huh. love I still love Bruce Springsteen's music. I don't agree with his politics, but I I still will play and listen to his music. And Green Day, I was caught the other day because um, I'm listening to the radio and still breathing comes on right, uh-huh. and, and, and I don't know that it's Green Day, but I'm like going, this is a great song. I wonder who yeah. this is. It's like oh, it's Green Day. I thought I was supposed to hate them. So anyway. Wound up playing them for bumper music, so you know I, I, yeah, I can't say. I, I I rarely agree with musicians politically, so I've just given up and right. And music is music. Right, take it from Kennedy. At Kennedy Nation, we'll be with you at seven o'clock tonight, Central Time. Appreciate you as always. Oh, bless your bones! I'm telling you, thank you, dear. You're a dream come true. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> All right, see ya. That's Kennedy. Okay. Awesome. Common Sense Radio.